Hi everyone, this is a tutorial for new ones willing to start grease pencil and today we are making a bouncing ball. I run Blender with a pretty ok laptop and this is my specs and I also use a pen tablet for drawing. It's convenient but optional and don't worry, having a mouse is large enough. After opening Blender, you should have this on your screen. Let's just create a 2D animation scene. And if it's not the case, just go to File, New, 2D Animation. First, let me activate my screencast keys to follow me along. And by this occasion, go to Edit, Preference, Key Map to custom two short keys, the spacebar for the tools and the tab key for the pie menu. Just do the same for now. This is the viewport. If you scroll out, you will see something like a piece of paper. In reality, it's a 3D scene framed by a camera. Now, with the pen tool selected, let's scribble something. Then middle mouse click, drag to look around. As you can see, our scene is composed by a camera and a grease pencil object. You can verify it inside of this panel. Ok, then part 0 to go back to camera view. Also, by holding shift first, then middle mouse click drag, you can navigate left, right, up and down. And now the bouncing ball. Ok let's start. Pick the draw tool. Select the brush. Pick this pen brush. Now I'm gonna increase the size a little bit. Then let's rename these two layers. The bottom will be the floor and the top will be the ball. Now I'm going to change the end timeline value to 24. Now select the floor layer and set the timeline to the first frame. Let's trace the floor, so pick the line tool, start tracing by clicking once, then hold shift key to keep it straight, click again to end, and press enter to confirm. So the floor is finished, so let's lock that layer. Ok, let's draw the ball. Select the ball layer, with the timeline set to 1. Pick the circle tool, click to start the circle, hold shift to keep it perfect, click again to end, then enter to confirm. Let's replace the ball. Hit the tab key to change mode. Then choose edit mode. You can also click here to change mode as well. Now hold click on the selection tool and pick the lasso selection. Choose the selection type to vertex. Select the circle like I do. Press G to move. Then click to confirm. First keyframe done. The second keyframe will be somewhere in the middle. So place your timeline around here. Before we continue, I want you to know that the icon here means that the onion skin is activated. So during the work animation, you will see the previous and the next keyframe. Also, this button right here, highlighted in blue, means that the auto keyframe is activated. So it will create automatically keyframe on any action you will do. Now select the ball and press G to move. Then press Z to lock to the Z axis. Just press it down to make the contact pause. Second keyframe done. Move the timeline to the end because the end keyframe is the ball back to the top. Let's just duplicate it by selecting the first keyframe, shift D, then move the mouse cursor to the end, then click to confirm. Keyframes are done, let's move on. Now the in-betweens. Timeline back to the first keyframe and let's move it two frames forward. You can zoom in and out the timeline by scrolling up and down over it. For the first in between, select the ball, press G to move, then Z to lock the axis. Move down a bit and confirm. Move the timeline two frames forward and make another in between on the same process. Repeat it till you reach the contact keyframe. Just visualize in your mind the motion of a bouncing ball to set your drawings properly. After reaching the contact pose, the next two keyframes will be the squeeze. For this, select the ball, then press S to scale. Now press Z to scale on the Z axis like I do, then click to confirm. Now press G and Z to move it down on the floor. Fall motion is done. Now the rise motion. There's many tricks to build quickly this part. But because we love animation, let's just do the honest way. Ok, 
let's move two frames forward. Then let's duplicate the keyframe before the squeeze to place it here. Now it's the reverse motion, but the job is still the same. Try to make it yourself till the last keyframe. And you're done. Just organize all the frames, well space them according to the motion. So I just organize in order to make a loop on 24 frames. And here we go. Congrats, you just made a bouncing ball. That's it for the beginner tutorial. I hope you did appreciate the format. It's clearly an introduction when I tried to show you a bit of everything. So if it does help you, let me know if you want more episodes like this. Other than that, thank you so much for the support. Much love. Cheers.